The 2016 Asian Tour season has once again been an amazing year for golf in Asia. From 10 breakthrough winners to previous champions returning to the winner's circle, we've seen an array of players making their mark on Asian golfing history. Uh, 2016 has been a really good year in terms of you know the, the player performance and all that. Coming off, we started with uh, two co-sanctioned events with the Japan Tour, and we had uh, Song Young Han winning the SMBC Singapore Open and Sean Norris winning the Palace 21 Myanmar Open. 2016 was the year for young talent such as Pum Sak San Sin, Jung Hun Wang and Titi Poon Tri Prakong to name a few. These maiden winners demonstrate the immense talent that have been rising to the top. When we started the Asian Development Tour four years ago, that was the intention to really get the players developing and it's really good to see players like Pavid and Chang Shi Chang uh, winning right, right off in their first years as an Asian Tour after they've been playing the Asian Development Tour. It just shows that you know our players are able to, to play their best with this and I think it's the right way to, to, to give them the career pathway to become top players in the world and hopefully win, win majors. But the players in Asia don't just break new ground within Asia. The Asian Tour players have also been making history on other tours around the world. The Battle of the Order of Merit Crown was as usual a nail-biting affair which came down to the last event of the season. We had some re really good winners, Paul Peterson uh, winning and Wang Junhung uh, winning back-to-back -back, uh, tournaments on the, on, on the European Tour. Brilliant. What a performance by the young Korean. Great to see my good friend uh, Scott Henn uh, winning the Order of Merit. You know, he's been a great supporter of the Asian Tour. He's been playing here over the last uh, almost 10 years and, you know, just, you know, he's won over uh, nine, nine tournaments and, you know, he's been getting better with age. You know, he's in his 40s now and he's probably had the best last couple of years in, in, in his career. So I'm very happy for him. With so much progress in 2016, the future of golf in Asia looks especially bright. Well, I think Asian Tour right now, you know, we're, we're here, you know, we formed that strategic alliance with the European Tour, but we've retained our identity and all that, and the players are, are excited about that and is exactly to, to get more of players like Anurban. This one's got to go in. He's done it. And due to his performance, have made it into the world stage. You know, he started out on the Asian tour. I first saw him play as a junior when he was 15, 16. Uh, went on to, to win tournaments, got on the European tour, and now, you know, basically playing the majors and, and on the PGA tour. Golf being included for the first time after almost 100 years of the Olympic was, was great, and especially for, for Asian golf, that this Olympic has, has um, uh, really opened their eyes and, and given a lot of support. And it's great to see that we had 16 players represented in the Olympics uh, from over seven, seven countries. And the 220 Olympics coming in, in, in Tokyo, you know, the, that's the, there's a lot of goals, and my goal was to always try to get uh, represented from each country and you know I think in 2020 we'll achieve that.